March 28, 2022. How's it going, guys? Well, I got another video for you. And what we're going to be talking about today is something I've been seeing <laughs> in the last several weeks here that's kind of strange. And uh, activity's really picked up down here in this one area. Now, what this, this is a Gregory Road. And what we're going to be coming up here on is a 435. Now, you know, people have flat tires. People get off ramps. But this has been... See, there's 435. See where it says north and southbound. Okay, that's what's just coming up here, guys. But what I've noticed... And this is where it gets really strange, okay? I'm going to show you something. You see where that white car's pulling up, getting ready to turn? <clears throat> I've seen many, many vehicles just setting off to the side. Now, they don't have flat tires. Or, if they do have a flat tire, sometimes it takes two and a half hours for them to change that tire. And they're still there. Still changing that tire. Now, does it take two and a half hours to change a tire? Eh, I don't think so. And uh, as we go on down here, we're going down. You see, there's this fairly new vehicle sitting here, okay? Now, cars break down, things happen, but this hasn't broke down. There's a person sitting in this vehicle. And uh, it's really odd because this is like a spot, like a location. Maybe they're dealing drugs. And uh, I've seen a lot of activity in the last, like I say, several weeks here off 435 and they're just sitting there. So hold on just a second. Get a little bit of a view of that. And then I'm going to show some other things. Now, when I go to the zoo and walk, I go to the zoo to... I enjoy the animals, but I also enjoy exercising. And if you walk that zoo, it takes about an hour, 20 minutes. And depending on what you do there, I mean, sometimes I'm up there, you know, two hours, two and a half max. And uh, the thing of it is, these vehicles, when I come back, are still there with people and that's what I find interesting and then I notice vehicles stopping there and then leaving like they're buying something and maybe it's something I don't know if the does the highway patrol check the interstates I I think they do I don't know I don't know or do they just stay to the highway I don't know if this would be you know, Kansas City, Missouri, I know Kansas City, Missouri travels down through here, and they do patrol occasionally down through here. Actually, I seen them uh, stop one guy that was walking just in this vicinity, too, which I found kind of strange, and they had their flashing lights on. Very interesting, but I'm gonna, we're going to go on. Hold on. Okay, I'm back, guys. Well, I did find that. Now that's a Kansas City, Missouri vehicle, their police vehicle. You can see the flash on it right there. I'll go back again. Let me see if I can go back. Hold on just a second. Okay, I'm just going to play this all the way down, guys, because there's a truck. But look what's down here. Now we're going to go on down. And uh, that's the police vehicle. Let's see if I can get that. It doesn't look like too upstanding citizen right there. I want to applaud our uh, police officers that are doing their jobs out there. Trying to get some of this uh, crud off the streets here in Kansas City. And I want to show you some other stuff where they're also dealing here in Swope Park right by the zoo. That they need to stop here. And I'm going to show you that here shortly. So just hold on just a second. Okay, I'm back, guys, and we're just going to play this. I mean, we all know everybody goes down here and fishes and stuff. And, I mean, there's cars. There's some guys that fish every day. 
I mean, I don't go to the zoo every day or anything like that. I go sometimes and I try to get my exercise in. But then there's vehicles here that said here that don't seem like they're fishing. And uh, we're going to go through on through here. That guy is fishing. I haven't stopped and talked to one of one of the guys one day is there. I was wondering about that, like, uh, that, uh, what am I looking to say? <laughs> I don't want to say moss or mold in the water when they had, you know, you couldn't go fishing anyway. It's been a while. But, okay, you see this right here. And you see this one facility off to the right? That used to be a little place where you could see the animals, you know, until they built that bigger one off, you know, across from where they have the, uh, the kind of like the clinic now for the animals, for the dogs and cats and stuff. But, what I have noticed on this Y here, if you look off to the left, not the blue vehicle, but if you look off to the left here, see if I can, I don't know if I can get this in, let's see if I can get this in focus. That vehicle right there, that's about as good as I can get it. But that vehicle's there a lot of the times when I go through. And then there's all these different cars that are stopped by it. Now I find that odd. You know, when you see one car and you see several other cars stopping by somebody, I imagine they're probably doing something bad, guys, wouldn't you think? They're probably selling drugs, you know. I doubt if they're selling something from, you know, off Craigslist. <laughs> but we're going to go on them from there, so hold on. Okay, guys, there's that vehicle. That's from my back dash cam, from that Y there. And it's always sitting there. And there's always cars going back and forth from that vehicle. Probably some can't see Missouri. I mean, this is far, pretty far off from the interstate or the highway there. Probably somebody, they probably need to be taking a look at that. You know, I mean, you know, people come, you know, they, they say they want tourists here. They want people to come to Kansas City. Well, then some of this stuff needs to be cleaned up. Because if they don't clean it up, you know, it, it's no good. I mean, you know, it's just not a good thing here. Swole Park's always had its problems, though. So. I mean, uh, my uh, brother-in-law, he was, uh, he also worked for uh, Coke Marketing, which was an oil company, K-O-C-H, they had the asphalt company here in Kansas City, and they're the ones that bought some of the Hudson stations out. Well, he was going through here real early one morning uh, to check one of the stations out that he was working over. And uh, there was a guy come out of the woods here, and actually he was uh, naked, and he was high. He was he ran through the woods. He, he almost ran over him. My uh, brother-in-law he had a white Chevy uh, pickup truck that he drove, but he come out of the hills out of one of these uh, off one of these hills here one morning when he was driving to get to one of the convenience stores. But just another story. But uh, going on here from there, I'm going to show you. I was at the zoo. And like I said, I know a minimum of an hour and 20 minutes. And we're going to pass this car back. And I think it's I think it's with a Mercedes this time. It's on down the road here a little way. So let's check this out, guys, here for Kansas City. Hold on. Okay, I'm back, guys. And uh, we're heading back from the zoo. But we're going to see what's down here. Well, you look off to the right side here. And that's that vehicle. That's that vehicle is up there. Let's see if I can. Yeah, that's a, that's a mine. I always love these vehicles too, the, you know, too, when it comes to their tags sometimes if they have covers and stuff on them too and stuff. But it just amazes me. I Oh, that brings up another thing. I come across one. Uh, a few days back, a temp tag that it that somebody actually had made it up, and the twos they couldn't make the twos correct. And you could see one of the two arch on it wasn't <laughs> wasn't wasn't. I mean, you can tell by just looking at it, it was phony. But getting on with this here, interesting. And I, I think that other one's a Mercedes. 
But they definitely look, need to be looking for that money there. Because that money's there a lot. There at the at the at the Y there. But they need to be watching for any vehicles sitting there, cars are going in and out of. So hold on. Kansas tags on that one, I guess. 632. I can't see if that's is that FFU? I don't know. But anyway. Interesting guys. And I mean, you know, like you say, we have people come from all over, go to the zoo and everything else and stuff. And I mean, Swope Park, I mean, like I say, has always had its problems, but still, I mean, when it, when they're like there, you know, like I say, every day, I mean, zoo don't open, I think it was at 930, I believe, usually. And if I go, I go usually between there and noon. And these vehicles are there all the time. Hold on. And there's that money. So, I don't know. Oh, they were probably just hiking up in the woods. And this vehicle here, just, I mean, I don't know. Probably selling stuff off Craigslist, I would imagine. You think, guys? Anyway. Eyes open, guys. And uh, have a good one out there.